I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, reminding you that if you find yourself in Toronto this evening, do come out and see me at the Social Capital Theatre. Today's question comes to us from Stephanie, who wants to know just what I feel about people who have decided to honour me and my creations by getting a tattoo. Now, in my age, tattoos were associated with sailors, circus folk, and Polynesians, but like with many things, that has changed, and they seem much more acceptable in this day and age. Respectable persons get tattoos now. Uh, bankers, uh, soccer moms, clergy folk, and for a whole variety of reasons, uh, from the spiritual to the personal to memorialize lost loved ones, or merely as the natural result of an evening of hard drink and good cheer. As for people uh, choosing to use my monsters uh, as inspiration for this work, it does violate my rule of tell, don't show. Nevertheless, it's very exciting to see the variations and permutations of my creatures that people design for themselves. Uh, but more interesting than that are those who choose my more abstract symbols to decorate themselves with. Um, the elder sign that uh, I devised, or the one uh, crafted by August Derleth, as well as Chambers' yellow sign, all act as a subtle geometric cue, part of a secret language shared by true devotees spotting each other in the wild. And I like that. It's almost cult-like. I will say, uh, for those of you who uh, have chosen uh, to get my face permanently attached to your skin, please don't. That's a little strange. I have enough issues with my own without seeing it all over the place. Now this, of course, opens up the question of if I were to get a tattoo, what would it be? And I think I'd like something subtle, elegant but simple. Something like a collage of cats and kittens, starting at my neck and wrists and going all the way down, a veritable tessellation of feline guardians silently standing watch over my body day and night forever. Or something like that. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.